how many of you take a moment to step beyond the confines of your office and forge connections beyond the workplace as the idea of business socials was tossed around the responses vary from enthusiastic commitment to unavoidable constraints here's a glimpse into the candid sentiments of business owners who were navigating the decision between work and social life some of them said that wish i could be there but i can't as there are some urgent work demands some of them felt that sundays are for family days and that's not negotiable socializing for business is a tough task when family priorities take the front seat balancing both the words feels like a constant juggle few of them said count me in for business socials as long as it doesn't clash with my intense weekdays i will definitely be there because i do not want to miss this chance to connect when i can some of them were very committed saying that i'll be there for socials it's not negotiable and my family also understands the importance and we have found a balance socializing for business is a strategic move and i won't miss this opportunity to network and unwind balancing business and socializing is crucial for maintaining professional relationships and developing a healthy work life equilibrium Hey you are listening to Dream 100 Business Show podcast with Savita Hasamani we are Dream 100 Business Show or on a mission to help business owners to move to the next level in their personal and business journey by helping them to make smarter decisions in this show we decode what goes on in the minds of successful business owners during challenging times and how they converted their dreams into profitable products or services so here are nine tips which will help you to strike a balance between business and socializing the first tip is that clearly set boundaries between work and social time establish specific working hours and avoid spilling this work spill into your personal time socializing for business is entirely different as compared to socializing for fun with family so this will help us to maintain a clear separation between business and social activities the second tip is that the tasks should be prioritized identify and prioritize the most important business tasks and focus on completing these tasks during the designated work hours so that there will be enough free time for socializing without worrying about unfinished work and when you are planning your calendar the third tip is that schedule some social time for business as well this could be like a lunch with a colleague or networking events or even virtual coffee breaks having planned social time ensures that you make time for it amidst your busy work schedule the fourth tip is that we have to leverage on technology to streamline business processes and thereby save time there are enough tools which can help you to manage tasks efficiently which will allow you to free up time for socializing the fifth tip is that when make it a point to attend industry related networking events and conferences these events offer an excellent opportunity to socialize while simultaneously gaining insights into your industry as well so strike a balance between expanding your professional network and enjoying social interactions the sixth tip is that whenever possible combine business and social activities when you have a relaxed meeting this will help you to gain insights of the successful tips and practices which other business owners have adopted in their business life and thereby you will also be socializing it will be fun and learning as well 
the seventh tip is that learn to say no say no even to additional work or to additional social commitments over committing be it for business or for social life can lead to burnout and stress so know your limits or your capacity before accepting new tasks or social invitations and be realistic about what you can manage and what you cannot manage as well saying no is very important the eighth tip is that have a clear separation between your professional and personal life whenever there is a dedicated frame of time for family time do not mix it with your professional time or sometimes one can be flexible when something crops up see to it that if you have eaten up the personal time of your family take out some time from your professional life and balance it in the coming days so that it will make it easier for both the family as well as for your professional lives the ninth tip is the importance of taking breaks taking breaks will not only refresh your mind but it will also enhance your overall productivity and i hope these nine tips will help you to find the right balance in your personal and professional journey it may require some trial and error but regularly keep reassessing your priorities and adjusting your schedule as needed so that there will be a healthy equilibrium between your business and social life as well in a world where business often blurs the lines with personal life finding that speed spot between work and social connections is undoubtedly a skilled endeavor so share your thoughts on how you can navigate this delicate balance let's keep this conversation going If you found this episode informative please subscribe and share it with your colleagues and stay tuned for more informative episodes thank you so much for being such a wonderful listener and as usual we are always waiting to hear from you thank you so much 